Hi, this is Inside Edge with Will Asher. Today I want to talk to you about some of the things I think about when I'm in the course. One of the key elements for my passes is the, is the way I initiate my gate pull out. I'll watch the right hand gate buoy disappear from the front of the boat. That's when I initiate my pull out for the gates. I try and be really progressive, really smooth. Especially with the new zero off program, you gotta think that anytime, anytime you're pulling on the load, it's gonna react. So I tell myself, I don't want to spike the system as I approach the course. So the first thing I do is I think I'm going to be light, I'm going to be balanced, I'm going to be level, and I'm going to apply even load as I start to pull out. The key for me when I'm, when I'm waiting for the gate is to be level and start with a baseline. So if you know that your head and your shoulders are level and your feet are beneath you before you turn in, then that's kind of like setting, hitting the reset button. I tell myself that I'm setting my swing rate in the course by what I do on the gates. There's only so much load that you can hold for a certain period of time. So I try and turn in from just a little bit of a narrow position so that I can hold a stronger load as I come off the second wake. I still want to be attacking and almost have my maximum load through the whitewash off the second side. That way when I finally come to release my feet, I'll be released out wide and I'll be high and up over my ski. I think one of the keys, one of the major keys for I think any pro skier out there or any amateur skier for that matter of fact, is how you approach your first pass in the course. I mean, I think it's really important to have an example here of my 32 off pass. You know, a relatively easy pass for myself, but I'm attacking it. I'm, I'm not leaving anything to chance. I'm telling myself I could fall off at any minute. I'm turning hard, I'm being aggressive through the wakes, and I'm staying ahead of the game. Okay, one of the things I want to talk about here is the way I get slack line out of my 2-4 side turn. It's actually a bad habit I picked up over the last couple of years, kind of bumming me out. But uh, where it comes from is I get a pretty nice one, I get, I get across the wakes pretty well. Then right before I release the handle, I lift my left shoulder and I, I kind of direct it straight towards the buoy, right here. And what that does is it kills my outward trajectory to the buoy line and kill, kills my swing out to buoy width and sends me in a straight line at the buoy. So what happens is I go straight at the buoy and then the only way I can turn is to wait to go past the buoy and try and hook it. But because I don't have enough outward swing into the 2-4 side, I'm turning too far with the boat instead of swinging out and then carving back in towards the boat on a tight line. For me, one of the keys to, to not breaking at the waist or getting pulled out the front while still having this much ski in the water is that I try and initiate every part of my turn from the ground up. So the most, the most powerful dynamic move you can make, whether it's a golf swing or hitting a baseball, is you got to start with your feet, knees, hips, and you take it up through your core, your, your shoulders. So my, the first thing I initiate on the turn is everything's still on my body at this point. But to initiate the turn, you see my hips start to rotate around. So my feet move first, then my hip move, and you'll see eventually the rest of my body will follow around. And that's just something I like to focus on. Because I feel that if, if I can get my feet moving, then I can get myself out of trouble. But if I leave my feet behind me, then I'm, I'm done. I'm swimming. 